Now, number 15, the last question in paper one of the 2015 new hire has got this little, what is a differential equation. This is the derivative of it, but you have to undo that, so you'll be integrating it. Now, what does it say it represents? That's the temperature of a mug of coffee. And it says T is the time in minutes, and T goes between 0 and 50. So you've been waiting 50 minutes just staring at this cup of coffee then, just to observe how it cools down. But it gives you a couple of bits of information. It says that initially, now initially means when the time is 0, the temperature was 100 degrees. So that was fresh out the pot, boiling pot. Then it said, 10 minutes later, so when T is 10, the temperature is now 82 degrees. And you have to find what? You have to express T, big T, in terms of wee T, the temperature in terms of the time. Well, the first thing is this, you're going to integrate that. The temperature itself will be the integral of this thing. Undo the differentiation, in other words. So I'm going to integrate, but notice, You've got k, which is an unknown, but when you integrate, you're going to get another one. Uh -huh. So t goes up to squared, divide by that, so that'll make that a 50 underneath. Minus k will go back up to t, a linear term, but there's also some other constant. So there's your equation, and you think, oh, wait, wait, there's two unknowns. But you've got two sets of numbers to put in, you've got two equations. So put these in and you'll find them one at a time. So the first one was this. If T is zero, then the temperature is 100. So 100 will equal, now if T is zero, that term is zero. And if T is zero, that term is zero, which means that C is 100. So obviously this equation is saying the temperature is 100 and then these terms here will take it down from that. Now I can rewrite that first one, because that will be a 50th of t squared minus kt plus 100. Now I'm down to this with only one unknown. Now I'll use the other one. When t is 10, the temperature's 82. That's still a wee bit hot to drink after 10 minutes. It must be some sort of insulating mug, this. Right, what have we got? So 82 is 1 50th of, but this time I've got numbers to put in, 10 squared minus k times 10 plus 100. Well, it's all numbers apart from that k, so we can find it. What are these numbers? We'll just do it again here. Yes, okay. So 10 squared is 100, 50 into 100 is 2, and that's a 10k, and that's 100. So take the 10k over. 10k will be 102 minus 82, which is 20. So finally, I'll just put it over here. k equals 2. So if it says express t in terms of big T in terms of wee t, then it would be this. The temperature is 1 50th of t squared minus 2 times t plus 100. There we go. What would that be anyway? If you waited your 50 minutes, that's a 50th of 50 squared is just 50, and then that's minus 100 plus, that'd be 50 degrees. That's still hot enough to drink. You could wait a whole period and then go back to a cup of coffee and it was fine.